How's it going everyone? My name is Zermatter here, hosting the Zermatter Experiment. Uh, so we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna be doing this slight update video. I kind of had the idea sitting in mind for quite a while and I figured, well, we don't really see much of this going on over here. So I figured I would take a stab at it. Hope you don't mind. So for those that are new to the game and are not aware of the news, Dev Diary number 19 for Season 8 of Ninjala has been out for quite some time now, and the community has had some very mixed reactions in regards to the news that has been shared or not shared. Season 8 of Ninjala begins on December 2nd, but as I mentioned before, if you're new to the game and the community, this all may sound like white noise, so I will do my best to kind of break it down for you to the best of my ability. Usually, when a new season drops, the game and the community go through a maintenance update, as I'm sure most games go through, but what normally has some folks confused is when exactly does the maintenance begin. I'll put up a picture from the Ninjala website to show what I'm talking about. So I can see here, the format can be a little confusing to someone who isn't from the community. This is where I come in for some assistance. <laughs> so for us here in the States, the update begins December 1st, 1800 Pacific Standard Time, or 6pm PST, and the maintenance update ends 0000 PST or to put it in layman's terms 12 a.m. PST. For those of us on the Eastern Standard Time that would be 9 p.m. EST to 3 a.m. EST is when it ends. To our friends overseas via the Euro side or the GMT time zone your scheduled maintenance update would be at 2 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the morning. Now for those in Australian time, I believe. First of all, hi, how you doing? <laughs> so I hope I don't butcher your time zone. I do apologize in advance if I do, but as it's stated over here, it says 12 A-E-S-T, which from what I'm able to dig up would be 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And the maintenance update would go for about 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So overall, the main take about this is whenever the maintenance update begins, give it about a six hour window for the full maintenance update to finally end. Okay, so now we got all that out of the way. Let's get to the better news, shall we? So here's a curveball for most of us. Ninjala is getting an anime, which I think personally for me, I think it's a really good idea because uh, it already had a 2D anime inside their YouTube channel for those that aren't aware of. Uh, so we kind of already had an idea of what the city was going to be like, what the world of Ninjal was going to bring to us. Very colorful cast of characters. Uh, me personally, I was always hoping that they did more. It's been quite a while before they did anything in regards to the anime. They stopped after one character and then of course they had to bring up, you know, all the other updates to lay. They had to fix a couple things in the way. So if all that, if they had an idea for an anime that got pushed back, I'm kind of glad they're kind of bringing it back because I'm one for the art style behind it. I can't wait to see how color coordinated it's going to be. I can't wait to see how the show is going to be. I don't know how long it's going to run for. I don't know how long they plan on running the show, uh, but I'm kind of happy that they have something in regards to that. So we'll see how it unfolds. Okay, so next on the news list is the WNA Tours Hanzo Cup. At the timing of writing and recording this, we are just coming off the heels of one of the wackiest collabs I think in my personal opinion it's the Hatsune Miku collab and not to mention Hatsune Miku also had a tournament as well uh, also before the Miku tournament we had a Demon Slayer collab and a Demon Slayer tournament uh, which personally I thought was one of my favorites I again as one for the animes I've well, I've seen the show I went to go see the movie both of which were great I thought it was really uh, fantastic so to have Demon Slayer as a very like kind of sudden collab to kind of happen out of nowhere out of the blue for Ninjala for what was kind of a refresher for me I know I enjoyed everything like how they kind of uh, you know updated the maps here with a little banners they did the same thing with uh, Miku. They had some banners and some Vocaloid posters posted throughout some of the maps, so it was really aesthetically pleasing to see all that. Uh, in regards to the WNA tours, I must say it feels a little kind of blandish compared to the most because like think about it You have Demon Slayer collab and you have the Hatsune Miku collab Like those are pretty two big prominent names and then you have the WNA tours Hanzo collab which, I mean, hey, but, you know, teach their own. It, it is what it is. I guess whatever the idea they had for this, it's, you know, it's however they want to go by it. It's completely fine, but I'm not trashing it. I'm just saying compared to the hype, like we went from like, you know, stage one, stage two. And now we went back. Now we're going back down one or maybe even stage zero at this point. But the funny thing about this collab is that it's happening on Christmas Day. 
Yes, you heard that right. It's happening on Christmas Day, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Australia. It's happening the next day, 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now, my personal belief on why they would aim for Christmas time is probably, I mean, I'm sure we all could have guessed it by now. At least I'm the one thinking about it. No one else has really said anything else about it. But here's my prediction on why I think they're aiming for Christmas Day, a tournament nonetheless. Uh, Christmas Day, as you all know, is the time we all get gifts and presents and maybe a lot of people along the way really wanted a Nintendo Switch. Maybe they would, the best time to get it would probably be around Christmas, which not a bad strategy, I guess. But at the same time, it also depends on how Ninjala is advertised during around the holidays. I mean, if they do no advertisement whatsoever, you're not really going to see much uh, going on on Christmas Day. Uh, it's also kind of a double-edged sword, like it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because Christmas Day, a lot of us take the time to unwind, get together with the families and whatnot, like, you know, the typical standard stuff that everyone does on Christmas Day. Some of us might not want to do family things. I mean, we could aim it towards to play games all day if we want. Uh, whether or not Ninjala is going to be up on that bracket in terms of games to play on Christmas Day, we're not really so sure just yet. We will have to wait and see how it all unfolds. Okay, so the last bit of news to cover is the highly anticipated new game mode they are calling Turf Match. Turf Match will be a 4 on 4 team battle game where the team with the most territory by the end of the match wins. So think of like Domination from Call of Duty or Halo, you know those are probably the two main ones that really polarize Domination or other games aspects that have done some similar uh, type of domination style gameplay. Now, as usual, or as very unusual, as per Ninjala fashion, as you can see here from the picture I'm about to put up, uh, the times that this particular game mode that are going to be open for the entirety of the season are going to be very scarce. Now again, this is mostly for the new ones, if you're veterans you can just ignore everything I'm about to say, but for the new people, yes, for some reason uh, they just like to throw these types of game modes during the weekends only, uh, and it's only available for the weekends only of the times listed below, or yeah, wherever they decide to put it in this video really. Um, so you only have a very short window of time to play the new game mode if you even get around to it, or if the news even comes out that we have a new game mode, but on top of that, we have some other interesting news coming to regular private matches so you can hang out with your buddies and whatnot so before that you could only do the standard battle royale team based thing and there was nothing else on top of that what they're doing or rather what they're introducing this season which i think is a major thumbs up for gung-ho and ninjala is that they are implementing some past new game modes that you can play with your friends so we don't have to play it online constantly you can play with your friends to your heart's content is going to be Ninjala Striker and Release the Beast. Both of those two started off the same way that we're about to see Turf Match take its turn during Season 8 of Ninjala. Uh, they were only around for a very limited amount of time. Everyone really enjoyed the new aspect of those games. We also really, you know, preached and said to ourselves like, oh, I really wish they'd keep these because these are really great, interesting ideas. At least this time they kind of hit the nail or they might have missed it halfway, 50-50, kind of, depending on who you ask around the community. Me personally, I think it's going to be great for our private matches. So at least we're not just constantly doing the same thing over and over. Uh, I'm sure that was a big complaint across all content creators, all players of the such and whatnot. So at least we're getting uh, Ninjala Striker and Release the Beast coming to uh, to private matches with our friends so that we can really, you know, you know, get some new type of uh, styles of gameplays uh, thrown around, thrown around the mix, you know? So what do you guys think about the news in regards to season eight of Ninjala? Do you like it? Do you hate it in the middle? Are you indifferent about it? Also, I know there is another piece of news that some may have noticed is missing, but I will be discussing that in a different video, so stay tuned. This is Zero Matter signing off. Until next time.